Welcome! Today it's all about Mr. Skellington and Mrs. Skellington. So we're going to look at the different bones that makes up the Skellington system and the two different Skellingtons that the Skellington system is divided into. Now there are 206 bones that makes up the Skellington system and sometimes we can end up having 207 bones. Now, the skeleton system is divided into two parts, two skeletons. The first one is known as the axial skeleton, which is the upper part of the skeleton system. Then we have the appendicular skeleton, which is the lower part of the skeleton system. Now let's start off with the axial skeleton. The axial skeleton consists of the clavicle and the clavicle bone is otherwise known as the shoulder bone. Now there are two clavicles of the skeleton system. You have one on the right and you have one on the left. Then follow, we have the humerus. The humerus is found between the clavicle and the elbow bone. Then we have the ulna. The ulna bone is aligned to your little finger. Then the radius bone is aligned to your big finger. Let's move down to the sternum. The sternum is otherwise known as the breast bone. It is found between your rib bones, all right? Then we have the sacrum. Then, follow up, we have the femur. Now, the femur is otherwise known as the thigh bone, and it is the largest bone of the skeleton system. Afterwards, we have patella. Now, the patella is otherwise known as the knee bone. Then, we have fibula. Fibula bone is aligned to your little toe and the tibia bone is aligned to your big toe. Then we have tarsus. Following tarsus, we have metatarsals and then we have phalanges which are also known as your toes. Let's move over. We have metacorpals and we have Corpus, and then the phalanges which are known as your fingers otherwise then let's move over to mrs skeleton mrs skeleton is showing the cranium which is otherwise called the skull then she's also showing the mandible so you know when you talk and your jaw bones go up and down that is known to be your mandible moving up and down. Then we have the last one, which is vertebrae. The vertebrae is otherwise known as your back bone or your spine. And you know the vertebrae gives you shape, right? The vertebrae gives you shape. It holds your body in shape. The skeleton system is very important because it gives you shape. If we did not have any skeletal system, we would have no shape and we would just be slobby, right? So the skeleton system, the bones of the skeleton system are all important to us as humans. Now, we are at the end of another lesson and I hope that you have learned something today. Thank you for watching.